Hey everybody, this is Ori from Astral Web, and I wanted to show you a quick intro into uh, the new release Twitter uh, custom uh, timelines. So yesterday was released. Um, a, it is November 13, my time. So yesterday, November 12, uh, 2013, it was released, and uh, just started playing with it right now. And I just wanted to show you the quick two things that we learned. And of course, I will we'll try to add some more information in the near future when we understand it better. Just wanted to kind of set it up, play with it a little bit. So uh, let's dive uh, deep, uh, into it, or not deeply, but uh, just a brief thing. So um, what what you basically need to do is uh, once you have your Twitter account, uh, log in with TweetDeck. Okay, so uh, TweetDeck is Twitter's kind of application. Lets you have these multiple um, kind of tabs and, and uh, work with it. Really, really nice. Um, so uh, basically, what you want to do is when you're logged into TweetDeck, in order to add a new um, timeline, what you do is you go to the plus sign right here, add, add a column, and you're going to go and you, if you notice there's quite a few more things right now. And you're going to click on custom timeline, right? Um, so I'm going to click on one right now, uh, or you can also edit the ones you existed. So if you click on create a new one, let's call it, let's do it right here, and we'll call it. Um, let's say um, just test timeline, okay? And add a description. This is a test for this video, okay? So, uh, and you're going to want to click on the, the checkbox, okay? So, um, basically, now uh, what you can do is you can you can basically place certain specific tweets that you want to put in this timeline uh, right here. So you can do it by two ways. Either if you hover over a tweet, and you'll see this uh, arrow, this kind of a left, right, up, down arrow. Uh, all you have to do is just drag it in here, uh, or you can actually hover over a specific tweet um, and just click on the more button and uh, right here, add to custom timeline. Okay, and then you'll just check box which one you want to do it, um, and let's just do it for the test. Okay, so I'm going to click on a, a X, and now we have it both here. So that, that's basically it. So here um, you can actually a, a share it with your friends. So uh, share it on your website or tweet about it and people can try to interact or maybe it's like a favorites list for you or you want to show it off on uh, very specific maybe testimonials of your company or uh, coupons or who, who knows. You know, We're still trying to figure out what exactly is going on here. Um, but uh, yeah, so um, Right here, if you go, I just want to show you the share functionality. If you go to, um, I'm actually going to close this one, okay? Um, and I'm actually going to use this in the Gento related one instead, okay? So if you go click here on the settings, you can click on the share button, and you can either view on uh, Twitter, you can uh, tweet about it, or, uh, you know, let's say share it, maybe you want to share it with your readers, and then view on Twitter, for example. Okay, so here you can see. Uh, the username slash timelines, and then you can actually have people tweet about it and, and use this information. Um, or the thing that's kind of more interesting, either you can click on embed here, or you can do it on the tweet deck um, right here, and you can actually create kind of this widget on your website that you can embed, right? And you can cu customize it a little bit. Um, and let's say we just want to use the default, okay? Um, so Let's do this. Let's actually embed it as a test, okay? Let's create a widget um, right here, and it gives you the code. So I'm just going to copy this code right here, and let's go to our blog, okay? And let's actually embed it, and I'll show you how it works, and then we'll, we'll delete it afterwards, okay? Because obviously I want to play more and fill up more information and all that, okay? So, um, okay? And let's go to post. I'm just posting on our our, um, our WordPress blog. Okay, test custom Twitter timeline. Okay, and go to text, add the code, and let's actually publish it and we'll check it out. Okay, let's view the post right here. Okay, that's it. So now you have your timeline. People can uh, react, uh, favor, retweet, do all the, you know, reply, do all that stuff. And here, in this way, you can really have 
very specific niches that you can kind of share. Uh, and instead of you know kind of being scattered around around all these different things, you can actually use this for for sharing for for very niche topics, stuff like that. So we're gonna play with it, brainstorm a lot, and hopefully follow up pretty soon with another video and give some kind of conclusions or um, maybe not conclusions because that doesn't we don't want to conclude it, but just uh, things we've learned on the way in, in, in order to approve it. So I uh, hope you enjoy this video. If you have any comments or suggestions or things, uh, we would love to talk to you about it, brainstorm together, and just talk about this, this custom timeline, this feature in general. And that's it. Thank you very much for listening to the video. Bye-bye.